is. Yep, there, there it is. is, baby. The only reason I'm going to open this one up, uh, I wouldn't open it up, but I'm looking for a trophy. I woke up one night, I woke up out of bed and thought, where is that trophy? Because there's a picture of Mike Helton with NASCAR handing me this trophy for 500 NASCAR stars. Now, I don't know if it's in here or not, but I'm just wondering where that trophy's at. And I'm not going to take all this out. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Is this really it? Hold on. It is. <laughs> okay. This is bigger than big. I've been wanting to know where this trophy's at. And I'm going to take this trophy and put this son bitch on display. NASCAR made this trophy for me. Because I, at this time, I broke the record. But I want you to look how nice this damn thing is. Look at this. It's been wrapped all these years. Look at that. That is nice. Is that nice or what? Look what it says. 500 NASCAR Nationwide Series Start 2011 Iowa Speedway. So I, I broke Jason Keller's start. So that's me and Jason Keller. It's my first win at Volusia. Me, Rusty, Mike, my last win. There's that uniform. See that ghoul's bump? That's really good stuff. Feel how, don't drop it. See oh. how heavy that thing is. Yeah, that is heavy. But, you know, NASCAR was good to me. They, they, NASCAR knows I don't mean any harm. Right? Yeah. I'm, I'm convincing myself that. <laughs> That's a good piece of furniture right there. Now, there's other things in here, but I don't really care about it. Bobbleheads. They made a bobblehead of me and Spencer. That's funny. So they they pitted me they pitted me against Jimmy Spencer at Daytona on the back straightaway. You want to sit with Kenny Wallace or Jimmy Spencer? So this is really cool. So they made so Daytona made a bobblehead. That's me. <laughs> Look at that. That's when I that that's when I was the deal. You know what I mean? Can you hold it up and you bobblehead while they bobblehead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you bobblehead? Uh -uh. Can you do like this? Yeah, see you do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was good stuff. I've been wondering where that's been. All right. Let's see right here. What are we looking for, Jughead? Jimmy Johnson. Help. Jimmy Johnson. See if he's finding. There it is. Yep, there there it, is. it is, baby. Listen to this. One of the most prized possession helmets, and I got it sticking in there with my dirt helmet. Oh, my God. Four times. So, thanks for everything, bro. History. Four times, Jimmy Johnson. Now look here. Here's what's cool about this. Look how innovative his helmets are. So he, oh, that, oh, this is funny. This is some gold leaf off of my 50th Daytona. So it, it's gold leaf it says five, Daytona 500, but it, it somehow came off of one of the other helmets and stuck to that one. But Jimmy would put his drink tube here and yeah, I guess he had a drink tube in here, but, uh, see, look, Hendrick Motorsports. That's hey, that's pretty big. That's pretty big for Jimmy Johnson. Give me one of his real helmets. Yeah. You, you don't do that. No. Thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate that. That's a, that's a big deal. So should I put on the four time champs helmet? Yeah, go ahead. Jimmy. I got a big head. I do. I'm like seven and five eights. That's a good looking helmet. Oh my God, it fits great. Do I look good? Yeah, you look good. I feel good in it. That's badass. All right, I think we need to take better care of this. <laughs> we'll put that right there. So, more dirt helmets. Yeah. Okay. Holy moly, look at this. This is this is a neat this is a neat box. Michael Walter and me traded helmets. 
To my friend Kenny, a racer from the Lou. Michael Walter, love you. That's pretty big. Wow. I need to take better care of my stuff. Let's see how Mikey's. Mikey's. Uh... Oh, look at this. I, I saved. I saved confetti from the 50th running of the Daytona 500. Somebody brought this to me. Oh, no, it was. Oh, I had to do TV. I'm in the 50th running of the Daytona 500. I blew a motor. Then I had to get ready to do TV. <laughs> That's how crazy my career was. So I was in victory lane because I did NASCAR victory lane on speed TV. Yeah. So I, so I got a lot of that confetti. I wonder how many people got that confetti. Now I can't get it to quit sticking to my hands. Good stuff though, right? Yep. Good stuff. Let me see, Mikey. All right. What are kind of brands did everybody have? What kind of brand helmet was that? I don't know what brand that was. It aerodynamic is all get out though. All right, let's see. Let's see how big Mikey's head is. Fits good. That one fits. I mean, this feels good. It's got a little more room. Yeah. What's the deal with all the race car drivers having big heads? <laughs> Good stuff. So, okay, there's a helmet in the bottom here that means a lot to me, and I kept it. I'm gonna tell you what that helmet's all about. So, the Sawyers owned Richmond, and they sold it. Paul Sawyer, S-A-W-Y-E-R. They, they sold Richmond Fairgrounds to NASCAR. They bought a dirt track. So I'm, a, I'm like a late model driver, modified driver. They asked me to run a center steer Northeastern mod, like Max McLaughlin runs. So I ran out of tear offs. Okay, I'm wearing this helmet. I run, I run six in the super late model race against Tim McCready in that helmet. But I took this off of that helmet. Look at this. I ran, so I run the super late model race. I come in, and, and the center steer mods are going on the track, and I'm in the race. I finished 12th. No tear-offs. Every time I come off of turn four, you go like that. Look at that. That's how, that's how I finished the race right there. Huh. That was at uh, that was Virginia Motor Speedway off seven, but look at that. That's what I saw. Look at this. And I'm sure other dirt racers have those stories. I say that damn thing because I saw it was so badass. But that's, so there's a couple things I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep those two helmets. Kim's going to go, what in the world have you been doing up there? Nice cardinal helmet. Good helmets. Well, we found the Holy Grail. We can keep opening up more boxes, but we're exhausted. I think it's like 4 o'clock and I need a coffee. <laughs> Why are you saying, are you in trouble? No, I always stand like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you going to do? Go uh, go home and probably go see my mom. Yeah. Well, thank you for your help today. Thank so, you. So, uh, we sold one of our race cars, Jughead Frankie Rawlings. We call him Jughead. I got a nickname. Everybody got a nickname. That's another story for another day. But he came up, peeled all the decals off the car. We, we had a full day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it brought back a lot of memories for me. Uh, it's it's no uh, it's no secret that um, I had a bitter NASCAR career, but there was a lot of good, and I, I've I've forgiven myself so, for running so bad, but I made a lot of friends, and I did run, you know nine Xfinity wins, ten poles. It's funny when I look when I look back, it was all right. Yeah. And you had a good career, Kenny. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. You make me feel better. All right.